In this video, we are gonna be installing these brand new LCI2 Black Series headlights onto my Mini Cooper S. This has been a long time coming, so please make sure that you like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. My name is Ethan, and welcome to Car Creation. This is both an extremely complicated as well as slightly dangerous for your car retrofit. We're dealing with really high voltages here and if you mess it up, you could end up frying your electronics in your car. If you want to do it yourself, make sure you get the advice of a professional. Today I have Beamer Fixes helping me with all my coding and if you want anything from Beamer Fixes, send me a DM on Instagram at carcreationsyt or an email at carcreationsyt at gmail.com. And we'd love to help you out with any retrofits on your car, from infotainment systems, to digital clusters, to just a general coding service. All right, let's get this thing on the car. Let's get this bonnet open and talk about this bonnet. It looks so good. This carbon fiber just glistens in this light here. <laughs> I'm really in love with it. If you haven't seen the video where we install this, we'll leave a pop-up banner up here, but it's really cool. Before you do anything electronic on your car, disconnect battery. So what we're gonna do first is go to each one of the headlights and we're just gonna disconnect it. There is a tab at the top and bottom. You just press down and there, it comes right out. Headlights are disconnected. So next thing that we need to do is take the headlights out themselves. So they're Torx screws. So I'm just gonna get my ratchet and we'll get that out in a second. These are actually kind of complicated, these connectors here. There are, oh, it's almost like a little spring system in here. And it's so you can adjust the light and it'll still remain tight. So the the more you tighten it down, the more it'll pull the light to this side. We're just gonna take this out, and I'm just gonna try to hold this in place. And just kind of hold on to it, because this whole thing can fall apart in your hand. I don't know if you can see at the bottom here. Wear a bolt or washer down here. If you're just loosening without holding it tight, it's just gonna pop around in a circle. Tighten this down on it. So let's see if this will open now. And this comes out, there you go. One of many that we're gonna have to take out. One of the things I forgot to mention is at the edges, they're just a normal bolt that you can take out. I'm going to take these all out and then hope we'll be able to remove the headlights and get the new ones installed. Come to the little snake. Uh, one of the bolts that we have down here are actually fused. So for example, this goes through here and it comes into a bolt that goes behind here that's uh, square. The problem is the bolt is fused to this. So what will happen is you turn it and then it just spins freely in the end there. And we can't actually get any pliers in there to hold this because of where it is. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to take a grinder <laughs> and cut the top of the screw off so we can get it out. One of the things to note, we need to take these rubber pieces off the headlight. All you have to do is go over to the edge here and there's just these little tabs that you push down right there. There you go, voila, comes right off. And we'll actually be putting these onto the new lights. <laughs> So we're getting close. We cut half the screw off, but this thing's really big, so it's hard to get in there. Ah! Mm -hmm. Boom. So it kind of melted right through this. Still have to get the screw off, though. But now we have room to work. Ah! There we go. Look at that. This little part right here caused me all that trouble. All right, so now we can put this stuff away that I took to uh, clean this up, and then we can put the new headlights in. Bye, cord. It takes me with it. All right, we're gonna cut back a couple months where we unwrapped and put together the lights themselves. I found these ones on eBay, but you might be able to find them somewhere else, or you can buy them directly from Mini. However, they are quite expensive. These are the lights, and they look absolutely amazing. All blacked out interiors, as well as the housing here. However, they don't come with the ballasts, the metal ballasts that go right here and here. Uh, on the new LCI, two ones that have the complete round headlight like this, you actually need to put two on. If you have the previous generation ones, there's only one, and this is the one that we have, and they look, they're a bit smaller and they look like this. Difference right here. And you only need one. So make sure that you know what the difference is when you get them. We're gonna put on this one here. Plugs in right here, don't strip it because you are going to plastic. Look at that. Okay, that one's on. Now, you need this one for down here. And this is a quad lock, so make sure that you lock it into the open position, and then you can lock it down. <laughs> These look so good. I'm so impressed. Your job isn't done. When you install this in the car, you're gonna have to get it coated. Okay, back to the car. This is the bit we've been waiting for. So, this headlight is ready to install. There we go. Done. <laughs> in order to install these, you are, we're kind of like dealing with a bunch of different points at the same time. So what we're going to do is hit it so we're kind of where we want it, and then we start tightening it down. 
Before we tighten these all up, we're just gonna put in the, uh, the screw up in the corner up here. Now we can screw all the rest in. One headlight in. Phew! Believe it or not, we're barely halfway. Most of it's actually coated. So we're gonna do the other side. Uh, we're just gonna do the, this in a time lapse, and then we will go on and show the wiring. When we were putting this light on, the, the piece at the very top, it snapped off. So we came up with a little solution for now. Now there is on eBay, you can get these little replacement pieces because these things do snap off, especially if you're in like an accident or something so you can repair the headlight. But we came up with our own solution for now. Maybe we'll get that eventually, but for now I'm just gonna do with my trusty little piece of metal here. So basically we just put a, a screw in through here and the little screw in here, or the bolt in here and a bolt in here and it's solid, it's not going anywhere. If you come to the front, they fit perfectly in there. We'll close this. Look at that, it looks so good. Now we're gonna take apart this connector and it's pretty easy, little tabs. You just put your fingernail in there, you lift them both up, slide right off, so make sure you save that. And then you have access to the back of this. So when we have to repin this, we have to take the center out as well. So along here, there are four tabs. There's a tab here, 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 and here. And so what you have to do is push down on the wires and then pry the two top ones out. And then this kind of come forwards a little bit. Then you pry the two rear ones and then you push there. And then, then just like that, you have it out. And then uh, you actually have to go a step further, okay? If you look here, there's a little indent. So we basically just have to like this and this should lift up. You don't never want to force anything. Okay, so the next step is that we need to repin some wires on the BDC. Uh, in our previous videos, like the Union Jack video uh, or any other ones like that, we actually had to repin connectors on the BDC, uh, body domain controller. So same thing for this. Before we code, we have to do that. Grab this and just pull it up. So you just go from the back and you slowly pull it forward. So there's some like these connectors like that. There you go. And then there's a slider here. So just for future reference, there's a connector here, here, and here, and then this just slides forward. And there we go. So we're at the BDC, body domain controller right here. And now we just have to find the right one, take it off, remove the wires, and uh, change them around. Next thing we have to do is get a wire to, get two wires actually, to the fuse box. So in order to do that, we actually have to take off the glove compartment. Two screws, one here, one here, here, and right here. Flathead screwdriver, very carefully. We're just gonna pop these out. One and two. Let's do the bottom ones first. Okay, and then you open it up. <laughs> and then you can take these ones out, and then this should come right out. Just have to unplug this right here. Now we can access the fuses. Lever out. It kind of pops out like that. Feed it downwards. Be careful with it. <laughs> there we go. Kind of have it here. This way you can turn it around back, access everything on the back of it, and uh, this is where we basically we're gonna be plumbing in the new headlight wires. And this is where we're gonna get the power from. Now let's get it routed. All right, so this is what we're gonna be doing to the car. Here is the wire diagram that I have. Headlight here, this is the connector that goes into the headlight. Up at the top we have the body domain controller, and then over here, that's the fuse box. So basically what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be running two twisted wires to each headlight to the body domain controller. You need to have a twisted, two wires that are twisted together for the can because basically what this does is listens for the lights, make sure that they're powered on. When they're twisted, it stops it from getting interference. Run the one to the one side, one to the other side, blue and green, nine and 10 pins on each, on each side. Wrap tape around it and then nice BMW tape to make it nice and secure and waterproof. Road it through the car and then uh, join them and then run it through the firewall. So we had to drill through the firewall, connect them to, uh, on the body domain controller, A258 star AB, and then uh, we connect the blue to pin 44, and the green to pin 43. All right, so not sure if you can hear me, but uh, we need wires, because the ones that we got did not work. So we are at a wrecking yard, and we have a BMW right here, you can barely tell. But if you look carefully, see this wire right here? That's what we need. All right, here's all the ones I got so far. All right, there. All right, so now we have to drill through the firewall. If you look in there, we actually have drill holes already uh, for me to drill. All right, so now I'm gonna poke the coat hanger through and then we're gonna attach the wires to it and pull it through. All right, so I took 10, eight out of here. I'm looking for 44 for blue right there and 43 for green. 
right there. And these wires on your diagram is marked as red, and this will be for the power. And we're gonna run this through the car and actually to a breaker. We already have a wire that we can use as power. Once again, it's a little bit thicker, but that's good. This we just moved to pin three. In the inside, the old headlight wire came up in the wrong spot. So I just got a piece of wire. On the end, I had the right connectors for the fuse, connected it to uh, F47 and F44 for each of the lights in the fuse box. And then we put a 20 amp fuse for each one of them. We already had this wire going from the number one slot on the light to number 48 of CAN3 on the by domain controller. So we don't have to worry about that wire. We can leave it there. As well as the ground. We don't have to touch the ground. So those wires are good. Um, we had a extra wire that came from the old headlights. So we were gonna use that to run the LAN, okay? Uh, we're gonna, it's a little bit bigger. So we're gonna push it as hard as we can into the number eight pin on, the, on each headlight. And then on the other side in the car, we're actually gonna have to uh, get a piece of wire that is smaller with a smaller pin on the end and then splice it into the thicker wire. And we're gonna connect that to pin 54, 4B on the body domain controller. And then on the other one, I believe it's pin 53. And really, that's all that we had to do. You really have to make sure that you're doing it right because once again, we said before, you do it wrong and you try to start using the headlights and it shorts or something, you can really wreck all the electronics of your car. So really make sure that you're doing the right thing. You get proper connectors to connect everything together and tape everything together. After that, we button on the car and we get it coded and we're all set to go. So to explain how these lights work, on the LCI2 version, we have the LED ring that goes all the way around. That is the daytime running light. When you turn on the indicator, it turns off and it flashes the yellow light. Now, on the inside in here, there's this little cutout here. That's the quartering light. It also can double as the new fog lights for these cars. Finally, in the middle, we have the headlight. That is a laser headlight. Um, it is super bright. Then you turn on the bright. Not only does it keep the main light on, it adds the brights to it. You can see for miles, it feels like. That's probably a slight exaggeration. So here's what just the normal daytime running lights look like. As you can see, they're pretty dull, but they're about, about as bright as normal lights on the halogen car. However, when we switch it over to the normal lights on this car, look at that. And that sign right there is nearly blinding. Now, if we change it over to the brights, that sign does actually blind, and we can see so much farther down the road. All right, so now we're back into daylight. These lights look fantastic. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll try to answer them to the best of our ability. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. We'll see you all in the next one. This is my uh, test dummy here. Hi, I'm the dummy apparently. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You're gonna run all the way to the trees, okay? Okay. And uh, we're gonna see if you can if we can still see the whites of your eyes at the trees. Okay. So far away. Okay, he's going, he's going, off he goes. Off into the distance, we can still see him. <laughs> okay, get up, keep going, keep going. There he goes, there he goes, off to the trees. My goodness, it's taking a long time to get way up there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Man, that's a long way away. Are you at the trees? <laughs>